Hello and welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be helpful. In 2020 alone, I've helped over a thousand women improve their relationships with their body, understand nutrition, help with their mindset around training and nutrition and get in good shape while they're at it. And these weren't women who had just decided they wanted to lose weight. These are women who've been frustrated with the efforts they've been putting in over the years. And there are some obvious mistakes that I've seen a lot of people making. So I'm gonna share them here and hopefully if you're making these mistakes, I'll be able to help you fix them. is that you're eating too much. A calorie deficit means that you are taking in less energy, i.e. food, than you're expending through movement, through living, through functioning, and through exercise. A lot of people think they're eating healthy when they're simply taking in too much energy for the amount that they are expending. How do I fix this? Track your calories. Use the free app like MyFitnessPal and track your calories day to day. Take the average over the week. If you're not seeing any changes, reduce very slightly, try again. If you're seeing any changes in measurements, you know you're in a deficit. If you're not, you might have to change your calories. It's actually quite simple, it just takes a couple of weeks to get used to. The second mistake I see is that people are eating too little. I know that sounds counterintuitive, but the problem is people are eating too little say Monday to Friday, and then they are overeating at the weekend, or even longer stints. They might be eating way too little for a couple of weeks at a time and seeing great changes in measurements, but in reality, your body is hungry. And if you're starving your body, you will naturally want to eat more. Your body will make you crave high calorie foods. So many women come to me and they feel like, oh, I'm dieting on 1200 calories or I'm eating 1500 calories and it doesn't work for me. When really they feel like they're eating 1500 calories, but in reality, those days where they lose control and they're eating 5,000 calories, it's increasing their average calories for the week and they're actually in a surplus or even just at maintenance and they're not seeing the changes that they feel like they deserve. How do we fix this? Be more consistent with your food. Don't starve your body. Get yourself into a calorie deficit that feels sustainable. It'll mean that your measurements are moving slowly but that you're not feeling hungry. And by not feeling hungry, you can enjoy your food, you can enjoy the process and keep the fat loss journey going longer. Another mistake is that people are just guessing. So obviously I've mentioned how important tracking is and let me just say it is possible to drop body fat if you're not tracking but I see it as like putting petrol in the car and hoping you'll get from Dublin to Galway when I think it's a bit easier if you just know how much petrol to put in then you know you're gonna make it and you're not gonna overshoot or undershoot and tracking doesn't have to be obsessive it doesn't have to be perfect it just means that you would want to track everything you're having so then it just makes it easier to know whether you're having too much or too little or if you need to make any changes okay the next mistake kind of is a hard one to say but like a lot of people just not being honest with themselves or their coaches about how much they're actually having they might be saying that they're eating 1500 calories they might be tracking 1500 calories but there might be there might be days where calories are much higher and they're too embarrassed to like track all those calories or there might be a couple of you know bites of things or oils and meals that are just not being tracked these little things that you forget might actually put you in a bit of a surplus so what's the solution be honest with yourself and make sure if you have a coach that you feel like you can be honest with them for myself and the coaches in the furnace we're kind and compassionate and we try like a safe environment for our clients and make them feel like they can have bad days bad weeks anything and still check in and then we can help them around how they feel about it and how you might change things next time and I think it's really important to be kind to yourself and have a coach that'll be kind to you too. The next mistake I see is a lot of people focusing too much on what the correct exercises to be doing for fat loss. I have another video on hypertrophy training and I'll link it below and how important that is for body composition. But I definitely see a lot of people who are wondering if they're doing the correct exercises for fat loss or if they wanna know is running good for fat loss, is squatting good for fat loss. And in reality, it's all down to a calorie deficit. Like fat loss is about a calorie deficit. You could actually not move at all or be injured and you can still lose fat through a calorie deficit. If you train three times a week for maybe 40 minutes, 60 minutes, like that, that's only like, I should have done the maths before this, but it's probably only like 5% of your day, 10% of your day max. And it's what you do outside of training, your, your daily habits and activities that will have a bigger impact on fat loss. The next mistake I see is people becoming too obsessive with it. Now, obviously hearing me talk about numbers and tracking, like that can sound obsessive to some people. I try to instill in my clients that like, yeah, tracking helps, but like being obsessed with it and weighing everything to a T and getting annoyed if you go over your calories, that's actually quite unhelpful. What I want is an awareness around food and what you're putting in and what your body needs. But if you feel that you're tying emotion to whether you hit your calories, whether your macros are correct and getting angry if you go over your calories, that's not a good thing for fat loss. What we want is consistency over 
perfection and my clients are sick of me saying that aiming for perfection often leads to more restriction and what we're trying to get away from is being too restrictive because that often leads to blowouts and even if you have a blowout or you have a special occasion it's no big deal changing your mindset around nutrition is a huge thing and your mindset around your body and your lifestyle so like if you have a crazy weekend with your friends or your family and you go way over your planned calories then on the monday and you check your measurements it's no big deal like i want to instill in people that it's no big deal if your measurements go up. by not being too obsessive about it you can just keep going with your life you're not going to restrict you're not going to have another blowout it's not an easy one to fix but that's why i bring mindset into my program so much it's about learning to trust your body to be kind to yourself so yeah just not being too obsessive about it and lastly well lastly the last mistake i can think of right now for this video is having the wrong goal for your life you know you're seeing people online you want to look like this you want to look like that you need to have goals realistic for you and your lifestyle like for me i find it very easy to like stay in good shape See, that's subjective but i feel good at the moment that's the main thing once you feel good that's what's important but obviously my lifestyle is really easy i'm in bali where the gyms are open i don't have anyone else to look after you know i'm eating good fresh food but if you're going through a stressful time if you're stuck at home and nowhere to train if you have to look after your kids or a sick relative or anything maybe fat loss isn't what you should be aiming for right now maybe it should be a case of like just getting out for some fresh air but maybe it's not focusing on numbers it's just worry focusing on your health and eating healthy food for your body that will make you feel well fueled give you the energy to get through whatever you need to do today and to feel happy for a lot of people in lockdown the last thing you want to do is take away your food and your drink which is probably the only thing you have to look forward to so when you shift your goals and you say okay you know what no i'm going to eat as well as i can i'm going to eat for my health but i'm not going to be too restrictive and I'm not gonna worry about fat loss this week or this month or however how long this is gonna go on for, that's when again, you can become less obsessive about it and improve your relationship with your food and with your body and just go easy on yourself. So to summarize, I think numbers, maybe it's just because I have a maths background, but numbers are key. You know, what gets measured gets managed, but also you need to do it from a place of self-love because really when you're, we're too hard on ourselves, like what is the point? Like what is the point in looking unreal, but being hungry and angry yourself for eating too much at some stage or looking unreal but not being able to go and enjoy your life as well and that's why it's important to have realistic goals for you and what suits your lifestyle so i just want to do it like a so hopefully a helpful video at the time of recording my own fitness furnace the program is full but i do have a waiting list so i'll put that in the description oh yeah i have to ask this if you in, are enjoying my content please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up because that'll help it reach more people and really that's why i want to create videos like this just to reduce these frustrations of so many people out there. So thanks for watching.